We're at North High School with the dance team behind us as the Golden Raiders get ready to take on Green Bay Southwest in what's going to be a battle for first place in the conference. Hello, everybody. Alongside the coach, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Chris, this is our biggest game of the year and obviously the biggest game of the year for uh, Southwest and North. Yeah, it's been years since there's been a conference game that's, you know, kind of here that it's two teams that are fighting for it, and we got it at home, which is just great. I'm really excited to see what happens. A tough loss a couple uh, months ago up there in Southwest, but that was a long time ago, and this North team is red hot, ready to take on Southwest in their own home court. The best time to play a team like this, Southwest or North, is in the situation they're in, where they've been playing well and uh, getting their uh, game up to speed. Yeah, it is. And, you know, for North, they've been red hot ever since uh, Max Smith has been back and about 100%. Things have been clicking for Southwest. They're coming off a loss uh, a week or so ago against that 12 That's at the middle. So that probably puts a little bit of question mark in the back of their heads coming into this game tonight. Let's talk a little bit about the individuals in this basketball game. We'll start off with Southwest. They got a couple of Stever boys that are really good. And then their best player is uh, Will Pedleski. And he's averaging just over 20 points a game. Yeah, talk I, about them. Yeah, he does. Pedleski, he's probably an all-stater, Marty. He's really good. He can really handle the ball. He's a really good shooter. And he's averaging over 10 rebounds a game, which leads the league. So, you know, they got a lot of balance and things like that. But... The key is going to be who's going to stop Mike tonight. Who does North put on Pitleski? Oh, that's a... I was wondering if they were going to put Witter on him just because of his intensity and stuff. You know, I don't know, maybe Renzelman? I mean, because he's... You know, you like Renzelman and all the little things he does. Maybe he might be just that guy to do that. I can't remember who I was talking to. Maybe it was uh, Matt Horson. He thought maybe they should put the potest on him. Oh, yeah, Sawyer. Because he can run. Lanky, tall. Another good choice, too, yeah. Okay, let's talk about North. Obviously, you start off with Brent Witter. He's averaging over 23 points a game, and Sawyer Pottis is up, uh, the last time I looked, 15.7. That's a pretty good one-two combination. Yeah, well, Witter needed help this year, and he, like I said, Schmidtke was out in the injury. He's getting hot, but you know, Sawyer Pottis kind of stepped up. He was kind of the guy that, who was going to be, you know, replace Max after he got hurt, and he was kind of the guy, but, you know, you're going to see a lot of guys from for North uh, score and participate. That's kind of how they've been all year. They play a lot of guys. A lot of guys get in there. They're almost, they all look alike. They all press and, and hustle and scramble for things, so, you know, it just hasn't been a one man show this year for this potentially conference championship team. Now, you know, uh, Hawk Harrelson always had his pick to click. I'm going to ask you, who's your pick to click? And it can't be <laughs> one of the guys averaging double figures in points for North. I'll take, uh, how about Sawyer? I'm going to tell you, say that he's going to have a really good game today. He's I know he's averaging 15 7. He's illegal. No, pick no, Sawyer. No, not Sawyer. Uh, uh, Sauer. A little guard. Because they think he does little things, gets steals, little pressure things. I'm going to pick him. He'll be kind of like the guy to watch today. And I'm going to pick Matt Smithy because I think if he goes off, North oh, yeah. is going to be looking pretty good tonight. Yeah, I think they're going to hit a lot of threes. My oh, God, if they do that, it's going to be tough for Southwest. I, hopefully they're going to be on tonight. Yep. We want to thank the dance team for standing in. This was the young lady who had the uh, lights on last time at Christmas time. She's a little more subdued tonight. Thanks a lot, girl. Thank you so much. All right. All right, with that, we're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's game. Today, I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be.
Hey guys, how are you today? Good. I'm here to talk about how with technology you can make amazing worlds. Come with me. My team and I groomed the Halo world to life. Is that you? That is me. I wasn't a math genius and I knew nothing about coding. But you guys do. You guys have the power to change things. I want your job. I want you to have my job. Most party fouls are pretty dumb. But if you decide to drink and drive underage, you could lose your license and your freedom. Underage drinking and driving. The ultimate party foul. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sheboygan North High School for tonight's game featuring the visiting Green Bay Southwest Trojans and your Sheboygan North Golden Raiders. One of the goals of high school athletics is learning lifelong values. Sportsmanship is one such value that makes this game an educational experience. The Fox River Classic Conference stresses sportsmanship as a goal and expectation for all in attendance at tonight's game. Remember to sport a winning attitude by cheering positively for your own team. To honor America and for those defending our freedom, we ask you to stand if you're able, remove your hats and headwear, and place your hand over your heart for the playing of our national anthem by the Shibuya North Hyde Pep Band. Now let's meet the starting lineups. First for the Trojans. Number three, Ty Melchert. Number 12, Lucas Stever. Number 20, Carson Lambry. Number 21, Owen Stever. Number 33, Will Pilecki. The Trojans are coached by John Pokowski. And from the Raiders, number four, Tanner Seller. Number five, Austin Ties. Number 24, Brent Ritter. Number 25, Chase Renverman. Number 31, Sawyer Pottest. Tonight's, the officials for tonight's team are Steve Snyder, Russ Miller, and Jeff Borland. These officials are registered by WIAA and are signed by Sheboygan North High School and the Fox River Classic Conference. Their experience and integrity qualify them to administer the rules of this game. Providing athletic training coverage for tonight's game is Sarah Brindauer of Aurora Sports Health. Call Aurora Sports Health to allow you to take your training to the next level. Visit them at aurora.org slash sports. Getting ready to start the big game, Chris. Uh, Paletsky, number 33, is uh, one of the guys we want to keep an eye on. Also, uh, the two Stieber boys, number 12 and uh, number 21. Lucas, only a sophomore. North controls the tap. Man-to-man -man defense. 
Lucas Stieber is guarding Witter. He gets a shot off right away. It's no good. And Trojans come away with it on a bust out. Good defense by Tice on the baseline. And Sauer's going to pick up the quick foul. No. Not my pick. Jankwart coming in after that first foul. Southwest 14 and 1, 9 and 1. North 12 and 3 and 9 and 1. Good release on that jump shot, but it's not good by uh, Melcher. Renzelman open from three point land, but turns the shot down, tries to shovel it into uh, Tice, but it uh, goes awry. Pitleski uses the body nicely to make some space and scores from inside. Yeah, he's like I said, he's possibly an all stater. Good skip pass. Jankward had an opening, but it was way outside the line. Witter, 12-footer in the lane, won't go. And coming away with it is uh, Owen Stieber. Witter on Pitleski. That shot is up and in, a three-pointer by Lucas Stieber. Southwest out to a quick 5-0 lead. 18th three-pointer for him. Second on the team in that. Penetrating pitch, Jankwart's shot is way off. And again, Trojans. They're calling a turnover on uh, Southwest. Well, I didn't see it, Chris. I didn't either. Southwest, ranked number three in state division two. We're ranked uh, number two behind Nicolay for a long time. Nicolay is the real deal. Renzelman again open from outside the line. Gives it up to Jankward. His shot is off, but he is fouled. Ankhort's going to be on the line shooting three free throws. Kind of unique, though, with the uh, season, the way it's gone. The two teams that have basically all seniors, and we mentioned this the other day at South, are leading the pack, and that's uh, Southwest and North. A lot of the teams in the league are very young. It's interesting when you look at this uh, North High varsity roster, all the 12s after their name. Yep. Well, I know when they came up as juniors, Coach Worth really had to make a decision. Do we keep them all? Or, and he decided to do that, and the kids bought in. And uh, they have a chance for a conference title. Tice now on, uh, was on Pitleski. With good hands that time. Not allowing the drive was uh, Tice. Ooh, shot is up, no good, but uh, picking up the fall for North will be Austin Tice. Oh yeah, we know these officials, Chris. They're an experienced crew to say the least. And I don't mean that in a negative way. Carson Landry on the line. 67%, Marty. Yeah. 84 68 in the first tilt in favor of Southwest. But, uh, that's before Schmidtke was uh, 100%. I don't think he's 100% yet, but. At least he's playing. Yeah. 7 to 2, Southwest. Will Robinson in the ball game. Witter's shot is good and he's fouled. 
And Stieber, Lucas Stieber saying, no, sir, that's not a foul on me. Well, you knocked him over. What do you mean it's not a foul on you? That's just a poor choices two times in a row. Both Stevers falling jump shooters. Really, really. Yeah, in the ball game, Chris is my pick to click. Uh, Max Schmidtke. Remember, people, you could you couldn't pick a, a player with double figure scoring. <laughs> it had to be a lesser scoring player. Witter finishes off the four point play. It's a one point advantage for the Trojans. Little switch action now. Witter has. Uh, that's the right call. Over, over it was back. off his knee. That's the right call. Okay. A lot of pressure. That went right off your knee. You know, Carson Landry's complaining, but uh, went right off his knee. Schmidtke's going to toss it in. And the uh, coaches, the fans, have already been vocal on the officials, and we're at the 14th. Winner. He was fouled again, knocked down, no call, missed the shot. A pull up 10 footer is up and in by Landry. He has four points. Landry, Landry averaging 10.2 a game. Southwest continuing to play that man-to-man -man defense. It's pretty sticky. Schmidtke open for just a second from outside the line. No good. Again, uh, Southwest limiting uh, North to only one shot, at, uh, a trip down. Yeah, very good point, Marty. Oh, almost stolen away. They're going to give it to North, but uh, Robinson a little sloppy on the pass to uh, Witter, but uh, got away with it. 13-38 remaining in the first half. A lot of defense so far. They like to go through Witter on the offense, Chris. And uh, he hasn't been open much. Jankwart with a long three. He has five. I think that was his distance, Marty. We're all tied at nine. And the three-point weapon has helped North with two already. Uh, a little bit late with Schmidtke. He's going to pick up the foul. I'll tell you, Southwest sloppy with the ball early on. Getting ready to check in or checking in for North is Turner Kraus. And Renzelman back in. Somebody doesn't know who they're guarding. Oh, they got it squared away. Southwest starting real wide. Pitleski uh, lost his balance. Renzelman dribbles right through the crowd and had it stripped away and almost stolen, but it goes out of bounds. Off of Melchert. <laughs> he was feeling it. <laughs> Inside feed. Brent Witter with an easy two. Great pass. Was that... Uh, Tanner Sauer make? No. no. Jankwart? Yep. There's a skip pass. Uh, oh, travel. it has a travel, right. Good ball movement by the Trojans, but then uh, Landry uh, shuffled the feet before he put the ball down. Four turnovers on Southwest already. Oh. North up two. They were down as many as uh, seven. It was nine to two at one point. Uh, 
Under 12 minutes left in the first half. Witter, catch and shoot. Oh, it just won't go down. Hung on the rim for a little bit. Thought it might trickle back on the old uh, home court uh, luck there. A good play by the Trojans, but uh, Stieber's shot is way off. We're gonna get Renzelman on a travel. I didn't think he traveled actually, Chris, nope. but uh, that was the call. Petleski got the dribble and took it baseline and scored easily. Caught Robinson a little flat-footed that time. Yeah, and he's got to get help. He got to help on, uh, there's no weak side help that time and using that big body of his. Jump shot in the lane by Witter is good. He has nine, pardon me, eight. Pardon me, nine. Pardon me, eight. <laughs> he has eight points. Another Pitleski drive to the basket. It's like they're pulling everybody high, yep. getting it to him on the side, and then letting him go one on one. Yes, they do a very nice job of spreading the floor, creating gaps, and then uh, oh. getting off screen. Kraus looked like he walked. Left hander gets a shot up, but it's no good, and then it goes off of uh, Kraus's hand. Sawyer so Pottis back in, giving uh, Witter a bit of a break. There's a 10-24 left in the first half. Pretty fast moving game. Conference championship. Well, well not the championship, but, but certainly the conference lead. Yep, implications tonight, no question. Leski in the lane. They're calling no shot. They're saying a block on Southwest. Wow, we another great job of moving the ball, Chris. But uh, it results in a turnover. Ian Way committing that uh, blocking foul. Winner out of the ball game right now. It's gonna be interesting to see who uh, yeah, they go to for a shot. Yeah, no Schmidtke, so look for Pottis. Kraus, kind of got himself stuck. Now he leans in for the shot and it rolls off. He's very close to having a three second call in the lane, but he did get the shot off. Oh, nice feed inside and scoring easily was Ian Way. Trojans on top by two. We get a blocking foul inside. It's going to go on uh, Southwest. Steber. Number 12 picked up his second foul, Chris. He's uh, coming out along with his brother, Owen Stieber. So Southwest is Stieberless. Winter back in, Marty. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, Witter with a catch and chew. He was open, couldn't get it to go, however. Nice play run by the Raiders. Joe Furman in the ball game for uh, North. Guarding the inbounders. Wow. Ooh, way deep, that was parking lot. And no good, a shot taken by uh, Ty Melchert. Can't imagine uh, 
Coach Polkowski is uh, very happy with that decision. John Polkowski is a head coach for uh, Green Bay Southwest. Hottest lean in, had a shot blocked, but uh, there's going to be a foul. He'll be he'll be at the line shooting a pair. So far in the ball game, North is uh, three for four, four for five. That free throw ties the game at 15 with 8.20 left. Good help by Renzelman on that switch, but now Pitleski got it wide open. Oh, there's a walk not called. Shot is off by uh, Landry. Renzelman with the rebound. Just missed it. Tice driving it to the hoop. He scores and he's fouled. Well, Southwest gambled. And it cost him because everybody else had to scramble. Ty Melchard picked up the foul. Chris, that's his second. That's two players now on Southwest that are out of the game with fouls. Foul trouble. Although Steber does come back in. Lucas with his two. You know, they're that close to being a breakout going the other way. He makes that interception. Another that. free throw made. Yep. North up three. That's their largest lead. 18 to 15. Deep three is no good. And we're going to get a foul on Tice. Holding off the, uh, holding off Ian Way. For Tice, that's his second. And he's out of the game. Another three ball is missed, but uh, Southwest comes away with it. That's something they haven't allowed North to do, I don't think, tonight, get an offensive rebound. That's just their first offensive rebound too, Marty. Okay, well You're right, North has none. What was that? Yeah, really. I think he wanted a pass, and then he wanted to shoot, and then he wasn't sure what he wanted. Furman getting a long string in ball game here. He's open, but uh, passes up the shot. With the kind of pressure that uh, Southwest is putting on, Chris, it looks like the back cut might be open. Pottis with a nice shot up and in, in, in the lane, makes it 20 to 15. And I like the drive penetration. Another chance taken by North. He couldn't get it, but Southwest cannot get the rebound, but they get the offensive rebound. And we get a timeout by Southwest. That's their second trip now, Chris, where they've got an offensive rebound. Uh, North able to avoid a basket by uh, Southwest the first time. Let's see what happens this time. It's a 30-second timeout, Robert, so uh, keep it here. Chris, what do you think about the North defense so far, other than allowing these last two uh, offensive rebounds? I think they're doing a real nice job. Create, you know, Southwest is getting open shots. They're just not making them, though. Uh, a little surprised North's not pressing, Marty. 
Uh, yeah, you're right. They yeah. haven't been. You know, it's something a little more pressure to speed the game up a little. Pace is much slower than I imagined. You know, coming in, these teams are almost identical. Southwest averaging 71 points a game, North 70. And uh, Southwest giving up 55 and North 54. So, Yeah, that's about as even as you can get. Pitleski in the ball game now. Number 33, he's uh, leads Southwest in scoring. So far, he has six. Fourth in the league in uh, scoring as well. Pass in the backcourt to get it inbounds. That means uh, North was doing a good job defending. Got to keep an eye out for that Owen Stieber guy. He likes to shoot the deep ball. Pitleski with another easy one right down Main Street and lays it up over the front of the rim. He's four for four, Marty. Yeah, he's a stud. Witter in the lane, couldn't get it in. He's had a tough first half so far. And they're gonna call a blocking foul on Chase Renzelman. That is the uh, fifth foul on North. Southwest has six team fouls. Whoa. Nice save that time by Lucas Stieber. It's a tough matchup there for Robinson. And the defense, you talked about it at the break. It seems like it's gotten better. A good switch off that time. Robinson now guarding Pitleski again. You got Pottist off of him. Good defense by Robinson. Notice he didn't use his hands, used his body, and even gave himself a little bit of space. Nice job for a sophomore. Good defense. Maybe their best one. Oh, North is going to pick up a yeah. foul. But that was a good series of defense. I mean, it was tough. Southwest was constantly moving backwards. Jankward picks up the foul. Carson Landry is uh, at the line. We have 4.22 left in the first half. It's 20 to 17 North, 20 to 18 now. Here's someone who hasn't played a lot, Max Schmidtke. Yeah, Schmidtke, my pick to click. Hey, he's not gonna be clicking if he's not in there. Oh, I had uh, Sauer. Yeah, yeah, Sauer he has played 30 seconds. Right. Hasn't come back in. Not sure what that's all about. Well, Jancourt played very, very well. So Landry far. has uh, six points. Pitleski has eight. They're the two scoring leaders for the Trojans. going to take him to the cleaners. Well, not that time. Robinson doing a good job of not forcing the three. Good feed inside, but Will overshoots, and he can't get the putback. Pitleski with the rebound, and a bust out by Southwest. Oh, a three ball by Bynum. 22 to 20. Didn't expect him Southwest. To get any. Just his sixth on the year. I'll tell you, I like Sawyer Pottis and that dry penetration. That's worked a lot tonight. Not just for himself, but he created a nice chance there for Will. Oh. Jankwart was open. Witter threw it a little bit by him, and Jankwart saying, I got held. Couldn't cut for the ball. And that's what Brent Witter's saying. How's he supposed to get it? And you take him off his route. Rolling down to the three minute mark of the first half. It's 22 to 20, Southwest on top. Stieber's shot in the lane is off, no good. Southwest with another offensive rebound. Pitleski outside the line, he couldn't get it to go. 
But this time, Witter with the rebound. Nice feed inside, Robinson scores. Leski putting the head down, trying to get it through the lane, but had to kick it back out. A good help defense that time, and stolen away by Schmidtke. Steps through the defense, and he overlays. That's a great move. Stieber, bango. Lucas Stieber, that hurts. Twenty-five to twenty two. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Witter at the catch and shoot outside the line. Had the right line, but just couldn't get it to go. It's a little bit short. Brent just three of nine so far off from the floor. He's had a tough night. Pitleski's three is good. Two three balls in a row by Southwest with 114 left. And Eric Wirth is uh, upset about something. I think it had to do with an illegal screen. It's a full timeout, Robert. Why don't you take us to a 30 second break? Okay, so we drowned the fire, yep. stirred it, mm -hmm. drowned it again. Mm -hmm. And now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it. One thing the officials were talking about, Marty, was uh, did Pileski step on the line on that three-pointer? And I thought he did, too, and they gave him a three. Oh, I see what you mean. That was one thing. Not, I think the screen thing was one, but then the three was another thing that was questioned. So the officials talked it over, and they decided to give the three-pointer to Southwest. I think the one that really hurt was uh, Javon Bynum hitting that one from the corner. You know, he's a, like you like to say, another country heard from. Yeah, and you wouldn't expect him, just like I said, his sixth on the year. Six point deficit for the Raiders. Bynum doing a good job of uh, coming out and guarding Witter. Pottest is open though, and he makes him pay with a three point basket. He may only have seven points, but he's been very important. He's hit some clutch baskets, drive penetrating. Sawyer Pottis having a nice first half. 40 seconds. Just like that, it's back to just a three point game. Southwest content to hold it for the last shot. Next foul is a bonus, Marty. We don't want that. No. Rolling down to uh, 20 seconds left. Let's see if they got something set here. 10 seconds. Good defense by Robinson. Bynum wide open. He can't get it. Pitleski. Shot no good, Schmidtke comes away, but the buzzer blows, and we're at halftime here at North High School with Green Bay Southwest leading 28-25. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore, and frustration a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy, and giving up impossible. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought and unconventional methods common. I'm a teacher. 
I may. When you have arthritis, it can be a painful reminder of all the things you can't do. Let's get a grip on arthritis. You can help by donating at arthritis.org. Some chores you dread. You do them. But that doesn't mean you're happy about it. And there's registering with the Selective Service. If you're a young man turning 18, the law says you have to register. It'll keep you eligible for college loans, government jobs, and training, and it only takes two minutes, which makes it not only your most important chore, but the easiest. When you turn 18, register at sss.gov or the local post office. Gonzalez has been dancing all four years of high school. Her favorite dance memory was when she was told she'd be dancing state her sophomore year. She'll be going to LTC to start clinicals as early as possible for radiology. She's loved being a part of this team and is so grateful to be a part of something so special. Let's give it up for Katie Gonzalez. Next up, can you please give it up for Miss Amaya Steger? <laughs> Amaya Steger has been dancing all four years of high school and was a captain this season. Her favorite memory was being able to take the trip down to Varsity State to perform all four years and creating new bonds with each dancer she met. Amaya has not decided where she plans to attend college, but she plans to be an elementary school teacher after graduating. Amaya has been so, ooh, yeah. Amaya has been so lucky to be a part of such a fun and loving team and could not be more proud of how well we came together this season. Let's give it up for Amaya. Next up, we have Captain Sophie Jacobson. Let's give it up for Sophie. <laughs> Sophie Jacobson has been on the varsity dance team for the two years she has attended North High School and is a captain this year. Her favorite dance memory is winning state this past weekend on her birthday. Next year, she'll be attending the University of Kentucky and plans to audition for their nationally ranked dance team. She wants to thank her teammates and coach for everything they have done for her this past year. Let's give it up for Sophie. And last but not least, let's give it up for Miranda Garcia. Miranda Garcia has been dancing since she was 12 years old and joined the North High dance team her sophomore year. Her favorite dance memory is when they won the overall high score and did an encore performance at the Kekana competition. In this fall, she plans to attend the University of Minnesota Twin Cities, majoring in business. She's thankful for the adventures and teammates that have been there all along the way. Most importantly, she's thankful for her coach and the opportunities that dance has brought. Let's give it up for Miranda. Our four seniors have taught all of us dedication, motivation, and how to never give up. Your shoes can never be filled, and you forever left your legacy with our program by helping to lead us to another state championship. We know you will be incredibly successful in everything you do, and we cannot wait to see all that you accomplish. You will forever have a home with us and with your team, and we know that you will always, always, always be remembered. We love the four of you more than words can express. I hope we've showed you that this season, and I know that our team is very, very sad to lose you, um, but we know that you're going to be going on to bigger and better things. So let's give it up one more time for our four 2019 graduating seniors. Now, for your halftime entertainment, your North Adversity Dance Team, this past weekend, 
Our very own Sheboygan North High Varsity Dance Team competed at the WACPC State Dance Championship and took first place in Division I Hip Hop, making them your 2019 State Dance Champions. We are so proud of our 24 athletes for working so hard to become the best in the state. So now for their encore performance, please welcome your new 2019 State Dance Champions. Mom and Dad used to argue about everything, especially about Dad's drinking. My family went from totally crazy to quiet, calm, and even peaceful when Mom started going to Al-Anon family groups. I wanted a better relationship with Dad, so I asked Mom if she would take me to her Al-Anon meetings or to Alateen. I'm sure glad I did. If someone's drinking troubling you, you might be surprised at what you can learn in an Al-Anon or Alateen family group from people just like you. Call one 888 4 or go to Al Anon. If you don't fix them, sparks from dragging tow chains could cause a wildfire. And that could be scary. Only you can prevent wildfires. I'm not your charity case. I am not your excuse to buy a new dress for the annual fundraiser. I am not the poster child for your big donation. I am out of debt and in my own home. I am off opioids. I'm graduating on time and on my way to a great job. I am. I am. We are. We are. We are. What it means to live united.
You're a busy man when you turn 18. But with all you've got going on, don't forget to register with Selective Service. It's the law. It only takes about two minutes to register at sss.gov. And you can do it without even looking up from your phone. Just like that. When you turn 18, register at sss.gov. With Mother's Finances, I wish we had discussed this sooner. It's difficult making decisions for mom. With dad gone, a lot has changed. Seeing my parents age, I worry about their financial decisions. As we age, our ability to make good financial choices decreases. Start the conversation today and plan for the future. Financial resources and tools are available at smartaboutmoney.org, a non-commercial organization focused on your financial success. The police called after midnight when they caught our son at a drinking party. It was a real wake-up call. A policeman suggested we try al on family groups. I didn't want to go to a meeting, but I'm glad I did. Are you troubled by someone else's drinking? You might be surprised at what you could learn in an al on family group from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-AL-ANON or go to al .org. Four out of five women with ovarian cancer will experience recurrence. It's often incurable. Until recently, following chemotherapy, women with recurrent ovarian cancer had to simply watch and wait for their disease to come back. Well, we say, not on my watch. Not on my watch. With maintenance therapies, women can delay recurrence. Awareness of your choices empowers you. Take an informed and active role. Visit notonmywatch.com. Nothing hurts my mom, but she showed anyway. We were trained to help others but there's strength in finding help for yourself too. We're in this together. Even the toughest of us might not know where to go to get a little support. The VA Women Veterans Call Center connects veterans with personalized information on VA services that can make a difference. Call 1-855-VA-WOMEN or visit www.womenshealth.va.com. Back at North High School, getting ready to start second half action. Southwest leads at 28-25. Leading scorers for uh, Southwest, Will Pitleski, their uh, possible All-Stater, led with 11. And then uh, Lucas Stieber and Carson Landry were next with six each. For North, they were led by their uh, All-Conference player, Brett Brent Witter, with eight. Following him was Sawyer Pottist with uh, seven. And that three at the end of the half, Chris, was huge get North back within striking distance. And then if we would have picked Tanner Jankward as our pick to click, he'd have been it. He had five points. Uh, what do you, uh, North was four for four, or pardon me, Southwest was four for four on free throws. North was six for seven. What do you have? Well, <laughs> Marty's just about duplicated everything here. You know, four for four free throws, six for seven. You know, uh, Southwest had... Uh, Four threes, North had three. Each team took 23 shots. I mean, it's almost identical, Marty, the uh, stats, and I guess that's why the game is what it is. It's it's pretty even. Each team each had six fouls to, to add up to everything. 43% uh, shooting for Southwest, 35 for North. All righty, in action earlier tonight, North JV teams demolished Southwest, and in freshman action, North won that game too. Uh, they're looking for the trifecta with a win here in uh, the varsity game, but right now they trail by three. A little back pick didn't work, and uh, your pick to click is uh, back out there. Tanner Sauer. Well, I like the way he plays defense and hustles. Did saw the little one shots, and I don't understand why he doesn't go to the basket. A little, another rebound, uh, pardon me, offensive rebound, and then he puts it back up and in. They got to stop that, Chris. Yeah. Since about the five minute mark of the first half, Southwest has been dominant on the offensive board. Well, we watched uh, Pitleski. We watched him, uh, I watched him in warm ups. He's taken all threes. I mean, good grief. Get around the basket and make shots. <laughs> you're not, you're not going to take too many out there, son. And uh, you're a force inside. Take advantage of it. Witter's shot is off. No good. Force that one. A good defense that time by uh, Lucas Stieber, number 12. They've uh, pretty much been in uh, Witter's grill all night. 
Three ball is up and in by Landry, and he continues to surprise us, Chris. Their biggest lead, right? Eight. Yep. And a timeout by North. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, just a quick start. No big deal. No big deal at all. Starting off the ball game, Southwest uh, led it 9-2, to two, and then North went on a 9 nothing run to take an 11-9 lead, but uh, it's the second half now. We don't like this. Yeah, it's still early. Still early. No big deal. Uh, just a quick start there. Kind of do a little better job of uh, keeping them off the boards. They did such a nice job for the majority of the uh, first half, but then the Southwest cleaned up with four offensive rebounds. That's just their fifth offensive rebound. North did a good job, but they got to get back to those uh, basics, and everybody's got a board, and that's what they do. I mean, they all have to rebound because, you know, they're not very tall. What do you got for North on offensive rebounds? Uh, they got one. Okay, that's I remember that one. I think it was... Uh, Will Robinson okay. over on the side yeah. over there. Yep. Oop, they're going to get a foul. Pitleski's going to get uh, called, I believe, for that one. That's only his first, so he's in pretty good shape. That's just a foolish foul, though. What, are you gonna uh, do? what do you mean, foolish foul? He never touched him. Just ask him. <laughs> He'll tell you. Oh, deep. Oh, deep. oh, man, that was about a 28-footer. Nothing but the bottom of the net. That was a deep three. Good result. North's got a couple big baskets when they really, really needed one, and there was one right there to stop that little run. Pudleski was stopped dead in his tracks by... Uh, Austin Tice. Yep. Pulls up from three ball land. <laughs> that's why glancing off the rim. I know you hit one before, but that's not your shot. That's just. We'll that, take that. <laughs> yeah, really. There's Pottis. Love his drive penetration. Pottis uh, should have kicked it out, Chris. Yeah. In the land of the Giants. Steber's shot in the lane is good. That was a nice move. 35-28. Oh, Jancourt coming right back in, Marty. He had a good first half, though. Witter from outside the line. He nails a three. He's feeling it now. Yep. That's what we were looking for in the first half. His third three. Lucas Stieber bringing it up slowly. Being guarded by Witter. Five threes for North now. Oh. Steal attempt is uh, missed. But North able to recover. Jeez. And a steal. Not a very good pass by Ty Melcher that time. Gee whiz. Renzelman on a nice pass from Sauer. Lays it up and in. That's his first two points of the ball game. And North within two. Started with the two threes by Witter. A good defense that time by Tice. Oh, Switter feeling it. He nails a two, and he was under severe pressure by Pitleski, taking it right at him, but he scored anyway in the lane. And we're tied at 35 with 14-10 uh, left, and Take. Southwest calls a timeout. Brent Witter to put them on their back, Marty. Yeah, 30-second timeout. What a difference when you make some shots, huh, Chris? Yeah. What did you say they had in the first half, 35% about? Yep, well, Witters hit you know, three in a row and two threes, one from way downtown and one a catch and shoot. Uh, the catch and shoot, that, that wasn't the way downtowner. Uh, no. <laughs> Just imagine if he would have missed that way downtown, down eight, who knows what Southwest would have done down here. But. Uh, that three changed things up. Witter now with 16 points, had eight the entire first half, and uh, through the first uh, just about four minutes of play, he's got eight points already in this half. Two Southwest turnovers as well on the last two trips down. 
Owen Stieber has it being guarded by Jankwart. Pitleski open. Right. Tried to drive it and uh, turn down the, you know, the two-point bass or two-point shot. Well, Renzelman and uh, Schmidt, you really good playing good. Oh, D good there. defense by Renzelman, but Pitleski still able to score. You got that right. That was good defense. Oh, Jankport complaining he was t bumped, but uh, they're saying no call, and uh, they're going to give it to Southwest. I don't think that was the right call. I think that was deflected. Southwest has the lead again, 35, 37-35. Schmitke now on uh, Lucas Stieber. Stieber from outside the line, couldn't get it, but Southwest runs it down. That was a long rebound, nothing he can do. Wasn't a good shot. No, hate to give him another chance, especially when yep. they have the lead. Stieber's shot, looked like he was blocked, but they're calling a foul on North. We'll have to see who that goes on. Renzelman picks up the foul, that's his second. Lucas Stieber will be shooting a pair. This is, this is his first trip to the line. Hottest coming in for uh, Renzelman. Now there's offense on the floor, Marty. Schmidtke, Pottest, Witter. Yeah, a lot of three-point power out there. Not a lot of size. Stieber with a one for two trip. He has nine points in the night. And Southwest has a three-point lead. Schmitke open. Oh, good Couldn't look. Couldn't get the shot in. Kitleski with a rebound. That's him. He'll make those. Max, you can hit them. Good play by the Raiders. Tice uh, missed the steal. Leaves a bit of an opening for Southwest. And we're going to get a foul called on Tice. Thought he had all ball, but uh, Russ Miller says no. I agree with him. I do too. Owen Stieber around and out. And preventing the offensive rebound was Witter with the defensive rebound. 10 foot jumper is no good. Oh, you wanted that one. You heard him slap his hand. Yeah, he had a good look, Marty. Created some space. That's one he'll make. That's why he was upset. Jim Rat. Owen oh, Stieber left open, couldn't even draw the rim that time. He's 0 for 6, 0 for 5 from 3. Leaves her team in three pointers. He has none. Tice gets it inside to Witter. It's for the skip pass. Tice, good athletic ability, jumps above the crowd and puts that shot off the glass and in. Yeah, he said I was going to get fouled be before. Make thought I fouled somebody. I'm going to create something. North down one. Stieber's shot from 15 is nothing but net. Lucas Stieber. Oh boy, it looked like a lob pass inside was open for Brent Witter, but they didn't yep. see it. 
hottest. Lean in. He got it to go. What a shot by Sawyer Pottest. Good had, use of the body. He's had a great, great game. Ooh, Lucas Stieber with his third foul, Chris, and there's still 10-19 left in the ball game. Owen Stieber coming out, and Lucas Stieber also wow. coming out. This guy's pouting over here. About the Stieber boys. Right. They're Stieberless again. Happened in the first half. Free throw make here. Ties it up. Oh, it didn't look like a good release. Just the second offensive Witter Bango. And makes it hurt. Witter was the guy that tapped the ball out, and then he was the guy that made the three-point shot. North is up two. Oh, what a flop. Pitleski threw it out of bounds. No, no sign by the way. official. Uh, the other official called it right away. No way. No way. It was a definite flop by Ian Way on a lame block attempt. That There's no way anyone touched that ball. That one they missed. There's an offensive foul. Pitleski, again, trying to plead his case. Lucas Stieber coming back in and uh, checking out is uh, Carson Landry. Getting into the skin of Southwest a little bit, Marty. Renzelman back in. Tice uh, going to take a well-deserved break. Good teams know how to play through this right now. Southwest, a little rattled. How about a three right here by Schmidtke or Witter or Jancourt? Oh, Jancourt. Oh, couldn't get it. Witter with a tap. No good. Ball goes out of bounds. It looked like it went off of Southwest, and yes, it did. North will keep it. And there's Brent Witter, the great athlete that he is. Keeping that ball alive twice now on the reload before and on that one. Pitleski is guarding uh, Schmidtke. Winner with another three. Oh, baby. He's got four this half. P-O-Y, player of the year. Renzelman guarding Pitleski. You mentioned that in the opening, Chris. You thought that might be the matchup? Yep. Where are you going, son? Well, good hands by North. Schmidtke comes away with it and gets it to a guard. <laughs> Travel. Easy call. Yeah, a little too anxious on that one. It was actually the right idea. You just got to put the ball down first. Yep. Hey, it's 45 to 40. There's 8.53 left in the game. North on top. North hit five, or Witters hit five of seven and a half, including four for four from three point range. Jankwart getting up into Melcher. Good help defense. They're on a what, a 20 to five? No, 20 to five run? What was it? 33 25? Yeah. So 20 to 7 run. Oh, they're going to give him the basket and a foul. Did a lot of operating inside and showed that power that time. Wow. Well, North was pretty strong in holding their ground there. I'm very surprised he even got the shot up. Chase Renzelman picked up his third foul. What I'm. Uh, I was looking for North to send a guy down to help him out, but uh, they've been very leery to do that once he makes that uh, post move. It's like they want to, they'll allow the two, they want to give up a three. Leski with that uh, three point play now has 17 points, North up two. Sh 
Schmitke being guarded by Bynum again. That was a, a favorable matchup for the Trojans. Bynum uh, being very physical with uh, Witter. A lot of bumping and banging between those 24 guys. Renzelman had an opening, didn't shoot it. Drives it to the hoop, it goes down. Pitleski wanted a charge, the referee didn't call it. North is up four. Oh, not a good foul that time by uh, Brent Witter. It's only going to be his first, but still, it's the fourth foul on uh, North now in the half. Wow. Pitleski coming out, Tris taking a rest. Seven minutes. I don't think, I would, never mind. I wouldn't have him on the bench very long, especially on the offensive end here. Jankport almost committing a foul there. Fans wanted a call. Stieber with a good crossover. Shoots and scores, and he's fouled. Renzelman's going to pick up number four. Well, Lucas Stieber showing some good grit here in the second half. He has seven points so far to go along with his six in the first half. A lot of talking to the officials tonight, Chris. Yes, they are. North still up one, 47-46. Rolling down to the seven minute mark. Hottest, he's rainbow three from the corner is good. He's been the man tonight. 12 points for him. His drive penetration and other things has been very, very important. Ian Way coming out to set a screen. Steber being guarded by Witter, that's a good matchup. Wow. Steber nails wow. a three under pressure. Got to give him credit for that. A little surprised Ty Melchert's at the bench to come in. He's not helped Southwest at all. A dangerous cross-court pass. Jankwert gets it. He's got to stay ahead. Oh. Oh, no. I'd almost have to go with Southwest on that one. We could yeah. see the elbow of Pottis go out and push. Carson Landry back, but uh, he picks up the foul instead. I'll tell you. Bynum was all over Witter here. Yeah, he's playing very physical. And he's not in the game anymore. Turner Krause checks in for North. I don't like all this dribbling out here, Chris. They're not going anywhere. Six minutes left in the ball game. Uh, normally Sawyer would have. Jankport on a catch and shoot. Rims out. Turner Krause had the inside position but couldn't grab it. That was a deep three too. Very. <clears throat> Nice Carson moves. Landry with a little spin move and throws it up with one hand and scores. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, Southwest leads at 51 to 50. 520 left. Prowse driving to the hoop. He picks up the foul on Lucas Stieber. That's his fourth, Chris. That was a great job. Like Kraus, I would not expect him to do that, but that was a really good move by him. How many him. times this year have we seen him go one-on-one? Yeah, on one? I know, and that was, and then draw the foul the way he did, just a junior, that was a very smart play to help the officials easily call that one. Both teams now with five fouls, Martin. And the best part about it all is uh, uh, 
He's left-handed. <laughs> And he nails two. I think they're going to bring Way in for Stever here, which is, you know, about the three-minute mark. He's going to have to bring him back in. The second leading scorer on Southwest with four fouls. Seventeen points to the bench. Pitleski back in. Carl's working hard on defense. Oh, and Stever has not been a factor so far tonight. But keep an eye on him. He can be dangerous. Yeah, he's a good three-point shooter. North working hard on the deep. Austin Tice with his quick feet is guarding Pitleski. And you know, when Witter goes out of the lineup, he kind of get a low. That's what Southwest says right now. Cross with a good defense. What is that? That's, Shot is off, no good. That's what you want. Witter with a strong rebound. That is not a good shot, like I said. Melcher has not helped them at all. Turner Krause was great one-on-one -on -one defense, Chris. There's a good pass inside. And we're going to get a hold. And uh, picking up the foul, I believe, is going to be Carson Landry, number 20. Not bonus time yet. Uh, they got six on the board now, but uh, that's counting Landry's foul right now this juncture. Tice, numbers, had the shot blocked by Ian Way, and he was uh, not too uh, gentle about it. He let him know about that block. Coach Worth has been in the officials a lot tonight. Yeah, really. Carson Landry on Witter, bumping and banging. It's a hard possession this time. Big possession, too. Yeah. Pitleski is on uh, Witter. Up one with the ball. Now oh, you got to call that foul. That impacted the play. Ian Way with a bump on the baseline, and that not call, that hurts. Interesting. 350 going back to Steber Marty. You mentioned about the three minute mark or so. It's just inside a four, but uh, they like him on the court. Witters on Steber. Oh, oh. boy. Bad defense that time by Tice. That doesn't happen very often. Hottest had an opening, didn't take it. And then Melchert got up on the defense. And a good time out that time by North. Not much going on defense. There's 3.09 left, and the Raiders lead trail by one. Much. It's a 30 second timeout, Robert, so we'll keep it here. Uh, our next basketball game is going to be this Saturday, February 9th, when uh, Sheboygan South comes to the north side to play the Raiders. First game, the girls' game, will start at 6, and then the boys will follow. Uh, we had mentioned that North's JV and freshman team won games earlier tonight. Uh, we got a great one going on tonight. Yeah, two nights in a row. I've been lucky. I went out to watch uh, Sheboygan Lutheran and Oostburg last night. It was full house in the Dutch land. Coach Desitella, I know, was there. And it was a really good basketball game last night, too. You know, the score was a little farther away that, you know, I think it was a 14-point win, but it was a close battle all the way. Just like this one, I think this is going to come down to free throws, which I think is going to help North. Southwest in this half is made uh, three out of four. North is made two out of three. Well, I like the fact they're closer to the bonus, Marty. And if they get in the bonus, they normally hit their free throws. Oh, as a kick! kick. How can kick. you not call that's that? A kick. Oh boy, that's a oh boy. Oh, good hustle that time by Jankwart. Again, Ian Way trying to draw a foul by doing the flop. 
Oh, and see. now we get a foul right near half court on Ty Melcher. And in the bonus, Marty. The old fashioned one and one, he's got to make this first one to get the second. That was a good decision by Southwest to have Steber on the bench on the defensive end with a lead. Now bring him back in. Good choice. But uh, I think this is going to play to the advantage of North, Marty. I'm telling you. I hope you're right, Chris. Is there a good free throw shooting team? You're in your own house, and now you know you have a chance to get the lead. And Southwest is two away from the bonus. Well, couldn't get it in. And coming away with it is uh, Southwest's Lucas Steber. Every possession is just bigger and bigger and bigger. Steber goes 6-3. See how Southwest is going to spread it out here. You know, it creates nice big lanes for them. They do a nice job of spreading the floor. Skip pass, good ball movement. Nope. Landry's shot is no good. And how can oh. you not call over the back on Pitleski? He tipped yeah. it right to uh, Landry, I believe it was, who scored the basket. I agree. Oh, my goodness. They're swallowing the whistles at the wrong time, Chris. Landry playing very tight defense on Witter. And he's going to get called for a foul. And he's wondering what? See, they didn't call those the whole game, Marty. This isn't the time to call those fouls now. Two-point lead for Southwest. Uh, he uh, is 91% from the free throw line, Marty. Nice going, Chris. In conference play. Good job, Chris. I know. <laughs> We're all tied up with 140 left in the ball game. Witter matches his number, 24 points. One point above his average. Every possession Landry big. with a good shot fake. Put the shot off, oh, no, no good. Pitleski was fouled on the rebound. But a good foul, because they're not in the bonus. Right. They knew that. <laughs> no, they didn't, but they... Tice with his fourth. Tice has done a nice job, too. Oh! Pitleski, hard to stop inside, Chris, when he gets that close. They just don't have the height to match up with him. Try penetrate. You're just fine here. One minute left. Oh, Schmitty was open. I like Schmitty there. And a timeout by North with 49.5 seconds left. It's a full timeout, Robert, so take us to a 30-second break. We've all seen that moment in the movie credits that says no animals were harmed in the making of this film. As a film director, I rely on the eight decades of experience American Humane brings to safeguarding animals on set. They consult on scripts, advise on locations, training, veterinary care, and so much more. As a director, nothing is more important than making sure everyone is safe, and that includes the animals on set as well. And thanks to the passionate people of American Humane, we can. Back at North High School with 49.5 seconds left. Chris, what does a coach do to get uh, a decent shot? Well, I like a I like couple choices here. Obviously, Pottis with his drive penetration has worked really well tonight, Marty. And of course, you got a screen for Witter. And if Witter isn't open, he can drive penetrating. Don't be afraid to give it to Schmidtke in the corner. Uh, I'm, I'm watching Southwest to see if they're going to take Steber out here and maybe bring Way back in, the, in here for this. Um, for rebounding and defense, because you know Stevers does have four fouls. Stever is on the floor, and uh, like we had mentioned a little earlier, uh, with uh, the firepower that North has, you got to keep track of those three-point shooters. 
What I'm a little afraid of, Marty, is that the fact that Sheboygan North tonight, two offensive rebounds yeah. and a miss, it's almost automatic Southwest tonight. You know, Witters kept some stuff alive with some stuff, but they gotta, they gotta get an offensive rebound on a miss. Interesting Jankport in there. He's had a nice game though. Steber on Witter, and he's holding him on as he tries to go through the lane. Yeah. No call by Russ and, Miller. And that's a bad situation for Southwest. Witter's got to know to go right at Steber. Interesting with four fouls, I would attack him. Jankort driving down the lane, got stuck. Gets around the defense, kicks it out. Tice with a wide open three, but he hasn't shot many all game, and he missed it. And Pitleski gets fouled. And that was foul number six or seven by Norris, so Pitleski will be at the line. Still not out of the, the woods yet. He's got to make it. You still have 14 seconds left. Uh, Tice, you're right, had not shot one yet. Uh, Jankor got a little caught there. I liked his dry penetration, um, but then he stopped. Once again here, I take Steber out of the game. And this is the big one, Marty. Yeah, makes it a two possession ball game if he makes it. 23 points now for uh, Will Pitleski. 78% from the line, pretty good. This is my jinx working. Ugh. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. You can't stop, Sawyer. Max, you don't have time. Witter got his shot blocked and Southwest comes away with it and they're gonna come away with a win. 59-54, 55-59-55, Southwest a winner in uh, what was a great high school basketball game, Chris. Well, they got a shot, and then uh, the f they had the lead. It was close, and uh, I'm kind of awestruck. I'm just shocked. I'm kind of speechless for once, Marty. <laughs> it was a tough loss, to say the least. Yeah, it was. It was Thank you. 59-55, uh, Southwest the winner. They go up in the standings by a full game over the Raiders. Uh, there are, I think, five or five games left in the conference season. So Norris still has a shot, but uh, Southwest played very well tonight. You gotta give them that, Chris. And with that, again, North drops one to Green Bay Southwest, 59-55. For the crew and my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.